Hello, and welcome back to our video blog. Today we're talking about presbyopia. Presbyopia is a problem of aging. You know how you hit your 40s and suddenly things up close, uh, your arms become too short. You have to hold things further and further back to be able to focus. Well, unfortunately, this is a devastating problem, especially for eye doctors, and all of us go through this at some point in life. With presbyopia, it is a problem of accommodation. In the eye is a muscle that moves our natural lens forward and backward that allow you to see distance intermediate way up close near all at the same time. Unfortunately, as we age, that muscle essentially kind of poops out. It's no longer moving the lens, and the lens itself becomes harder and stiffer, so it's not moving forward and backward inside the eye. Eventually, everybody needs some help, either reading glasses or having uh, contact lenses to be able to address both distance and near vision. So that is what's called presbyopia. When we do cataract surgery, we're removing the eye's natural lens and replacing it with an intraocular lens. We can address presbyopia during cataract operation by the use of different lens implants. A simple way to correct presbyopia is to do what's called monovision. Monovision is a system where we use a monofocal lens, which we discussed in one of our last video blogs, and this is a lens that is a stiff lens, so it does not move forward and backward. It has either a focusing ability for distance or up close, not both at the same time. One eye, usually the dominant eye, which is the eye that you use for taking pictures or for sighting, um, for shooting, that is your eye that would be set for far. The non-dominant eye would then be set for reading vision. And most brains are fairly clever in being able to separate out the distance and the near, but it is a compromise. There's not as much depth perception because, again, your brain has to separate out the distance and the near. If a patient has tried this system before, especially with contact lenses, and has done well with monovision, then this is a great way to correct vision, especially using either astigmatism correcting lenses, such as toric lenses, or the monofocal lens. Again, monovision is one eye set for far, one eye set for close. Another way to correct presbyopia is through what's called an accommodating lens. Crystal lens is a lens that is a flexible lens so that it does mimic more of our natural lens in the past where it does move forward and backward inside the eye. Unfortunately, it doesn't work well for distance and extremely close vision, but it is more for patients who have a need for distance and intermediate vision. A great way to correct both distance and very close vision is a multifocal lens. A multifocal lens is a stiff lens, so it doesn't move forward inside the eye, but it has rings of prism on the surface of the lens that split the vision into the distance and near at the same time. It employs basically your brain's ability to separate out two images. A way to think about it is if you're looking at something far away and you put your thumb in between the object and your vision, when you look at a far object, it's clear and your thumb is blurry. Then you look at your thumb, you can still see that distant object, but it is blurry and your thumb is sharp. So this is how a multifocal lens works. A multifocal lens is a lens that doesn't work well for everyone. There is an adaptation period. It does require brighter light for very sharp near vision. But currently, it is the best lens that we have now in 2014 to be able to correct vision well for both distance and near and maintain a balance between the distance and the near. So there is no reduction in your depth perception. So again, 
Presbyopia is something that happens to all of us, and there are excellent ways to correct presbyopia during cataract surgery now so that our patients don't have to get chained to that pair of reading glasses all the time. Thank you for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you on our next video blog. Thank you.